and Suzanne Challengers. This is Audrey. Audrey. And Zumar. Today is Monday, April 26th. Welcome back, Challengers. As of this week, students from all grades can attend school in person on their designated days. As a reminder, if your last name starts with A through L, you come to school on Wednesdays and Tuesdays. If your last name starts with M through Z, you will come on school on Thursdays and Fridays. Don't forget to do your health screening each day from home on the parent portal. You cannot access the screening on your school account. Yay, having to wake up to go to school and interact with other people. I think we should give everyone some advice too, you know, considering we're like geniuses and we know everything. We're literally descendants of Albert Einstein. Hello, 7th and 8th graders. We are really excited about having you back on campus. Uh, we've noticed a couple things with our 6th graders we want to let you know. First thing we want to do is make sure you complete your health registration every day before you come on campus. That means your parents log in to their account for you to say that you're healthy. Two, when you bring your device, make sure it's fully charged and bring your charger with it just in case something goes wrong. And third, even though you have your schedule memorized, bring it anyway just in case you forget. Those are some things that we're noticing. We are really excited about having you back on campus. Have a good day. When school begins, you can only enter through the large gate at the upper parking lot. During breaks, be sure to socially distance as you eat snacks and wait for your next class. Fill out your name tag when you arrive to first period and wear it every day. It is hard for your teachers to recognize you with a mask on. You will be given headphones if you need them in first period. If you would like a free lunch, you may get it at the large gate that you entered campus in. You may leave the campus through any gate. Remind your parents to pull forward in the pickup line so the line of the cars flow better. Have you guys ever been in an escape room? I've escaped a room before. Just open the door and walk out. I too have escaped a room before. Except I had to play gruesome games and met a creepy puppet. <laughs> been doing to keep yourselves busy? Buying garden gnomes and hiding them all over my house. The sun is making your hair look extra shiny. Thanks, it's my new wig. On the topic of wigs, let's see this week's weather report. this week's movie. I already know what it is because I'm just that smart. Well then, Andre and I will guess. <gasps> this place is gorgeous, Hal! It's like a dream! I think it's Ratatouille. Um, no. It's definitely Cars 3. Okay. You know what I'm snacking on right now? Ha words. Really? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Okay, here's the word of the week. Uncanny. Strange or mysterious, especially in an unsettling way. I think the word means to not be very good at something. I think the word uncanny means like a like a type of babysitter or something. I'm so famous, OMG. You're not. You're really not. Anyways, let's try and guess this week's celebrity because we all know it's not you, Audrey.
Do you want to learn about coronavirus numbers? That would be cool. Infect my eyes. Look, guys, it's Shakespeare. Yo, sign my forehead. Okay, we seriously need more quotes. Did you know that Walnut Valley Unified School District is celebrating 50 years of service? In celebration for the big day, we have been challenged to participate in a 5K run. The school with the most participants gets bragging rights and their name on a trophy. Challengers, Walnut Valley Unified School District's 50-year anniversary is coming up. To celebrate, they are hosting a virtual fun run and walk. Online registration will close on May 2nd. The entry fee is $15 per student and $25 for each adult. Included in this fee is a t-shirt and medal. You can register online at www.wvusd50.org. Challengers, this is a competition between schools, so we need as much participation as possible in order to win the trophy. Remember, registration closes on May 2nd. Come on, guys. Let's do this. Let's go, Challengers. You got it. We are working to prepare all of you for next year, including getting our 6th and 7th graders registered for your elective courses, as well as preparing our 8th graders for their transition to high school. Please keep an eye on upcoming events and important dates found each week in the Challenger Chat. This Friday, applications for enrichment classes that require an application and advanced English language arts applications will be available online. We are very excited to announce that we will be able to, pro to offer a promotion ceremony for our eighth grade students this year. As in previous years, we will be promoting our students in the Walnut High School Stadium. Due to public health guidelines, seating will be limited, but we are happy to offer this experience to our eighth grade students. There will be more information and details coming soon. This has been Audrey and Audrey and Audrey with your weekly video broadcast. Have a great week, Challengers. Stay tuned for announcements. Stay so